Hello and welcome to this short video on the Libro SOC FPGA design tool. In this take we will introduce applying synthesis options using the Synopsys Simplify Pro Synthesis tool. Synthesis options can improve synthesized netlist quality. They offer performance and area optimization options. They can result in better routing quality and timing performance. The Libro SOC design tool comes bundled with Synopsys Simplify Pro. This is a powerful industry standard HDL synthesis tool. It has mixed language support for Verilog and VHDL. It provides timing driven synthesis and optimization and it generates high performance netlist targeted at the micro semi FPGA families. Let's take a look at the available synthesis options followed by a short demonstration. LibreSOC Design Suite provides Synopsys Simplify Pro to generate optimized netlists. The Simplify Pro tool offers various options to optimize netlists for micro semi FPGAs. LibreSOC provides a GUI to conveniently modify common synthesis constraints without the need to open the synthesis tool. These include global nets. Here you can manage the threshold Simplify will use for automatic promotion and demotion of high fanout nets onto device global resources. The default settings are usually sufficient for most designs, but can be modified here. Next we have optimization settings. Enable retiming and compile points are conveniently added here because they are often modified based on designers needs. Automatic compile point option reduces synthesis runtime through multi-threading and incremental flow. This option is enabled by default for the high density polar fire family of devices to reduce synthesis times in these larger devices. There are also mapping options for memory and shift registers to allow the designer to trade off RAM block utilization versus power and performance. Finally, we have additional options for Simplify Pro. Additional Simplify options can be added here via a tickle script or via direct entry into the window shown here. Simplify Pro also allows entry of common optimization settings using their main GUI. These include a default frequency used by the synthesis tool for unconstrained clocks, an auto constraint radio button which will synthesize to maximum possible frequencies, automatic compile points will minimize synthesis runtime, FSM compiler and explorer, these are state machine optimizers that will automatically recognize state machines and optimize them by recoding the states and optimizing associated logic to meet performance requirements. Resource sharing, this is area optimized logic sharing. Simplify will share hardware resources like adders, multipliers, and counters whenever possible to minimize area. Retiming provides performance driven register balancing. It automatically moves registers across combinatorial logic to improve timing while maintaining the original intended behavior of the design. All these options can be applied to the design globally using these checkboxes shown here or selectively using attributes in the HTL or constraint files. See the user manual for full details. I will now demonstrate some of these settings in action. First, let's take a look at resource sharing. Let's consider a simple combinatorial adder design. The two add-ins depend on the inputs C1 and C2. If we first synthesize without resource sharing enabled, we find a total of four LUTs are utilized to realize this design. Looking at the pre-mapped output view, we find that three adders are implemented. If we resynthesize this design with resource sharing enabled, we now see only three LUTs are utilized to realize this design. Here we see one adder is implemented and it is shared. Resource sharing results in a more compact design but could trade off performance. Let's take a look at the finite state machine optimization settings. Here is a state machine design with 16 states with the states binary encoded in the HDL code. If we run synthesis with no FSM compiler settings,
we find that 109 registers are utilized with a performance of 225 MHz. If we now enable the FSM compiler and rerun, we now see that the sequential logic increased by 12 to 121 sequential logic elements, but the performance increased to 315 MHz. Looking at the mapper report, we see the FSM compiler in action. It recoded the state machines to one hot encoding, which increased the sequential element count, but also dramatically increased design performance. Finally, if we enable the FSM Explorer and rerun, we will see the FSM Explorer message that basically indicates runtime will increase to optimize the state machine, but resulting optimization will be used in subsequent runs so runtime is brought back in line. As you can see here, the FSM compiler ran. Looking at the mapper report, we see the FSM Explorer executed and concluded that the one hot encoding is indeed the optimal encoding for this state machine. As a last example, let's take a look at the effect of the retiming option. This is a design of a multiplier accumulator with three pipeline stages at the input and with one pipeline register at the output. Let's set the target frequency to 300 megahertz. Running synthesis without retiming enabled, we find a performance of 228 megahertz using 120 logic elements. Looking at the synthesized netlist, we clearly see the first three pipeline stages, these are the SLEs, followed by the MAC logic, and finally a registered output, just as we wrote it in the HDL. If we enable retiming option and resynthesize, We see a slight increase in the logic elements, but we see performance rise to 530 MHz, more than double the non-retiming performance. Looking at the synthesized netlist, we see that the pipeline registers are now intermixed with the multiplier accumulate logic. However, by contract, the multiplier accumulator total result will still be valid after four clock cycles, just as in the original design. Additional information can be found on the Libro SOC Design Suite Documents page or in the Synopsys Simplify Pro Tool Install Directory. Thank you for watching this introduction to applying Simplify Synthesis Constraints and be on the lookout for more videos highlighting other features and capabilities of the Libro SOC FPGA Development Tool. <laughs>